Hi everyone. I hope you guys are having an okay day. Um, I'm here to read you another story. Um, and like I said, I'm going to read a story by Oliver Jeffers called Stuck. This is probably my favorite book for a long time, even though I know that I say almost all my books are my favorite book, but this really is one of my favorite books. Um, Oliver Jeffers is doing read alouds on his Instagram channel as well. So you can see him talk about the books um, and he reads them out loud and then he goes through them and talks about kind of how he made them, um, some of the history to them. Um, he hasn't done Stuck yet. He's kind of going in order of how he made them. So I'm going to read Stuck by Oliver Jeffers, who is the author and the illustrator. Okay. It all began when Floyd's kite became stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. The trouble really began when he threw his favorite shoe to knock the kite loose, and that got stuck too. So he threw up his other shoe to knock down his favorite one, and unbelievably, that got stuck as well. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd fetched Mitch. Cats get stuck in trees all the time, but this was getting ridiculous. Floyd, Floyd fetched a ladder. He was going to sort this out once and for all. And up he threw it. I'm sure you can guess what happens next. Through the ladder. Now the ladder was borrowed from a neighbor and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a, back at, a bucket of paint at it. And when you know it, the bucket of paint got stuck. And then Floyd tried. A duck to knock down the bucket of paint a chair to knock down the duck, his friend's bicycle to knock down the chair, the kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle, Floyd's front door to knock down the kitchen sink. <laughs> now it's getting ridiculous. <laughs> the family car to knock down their front door. The milkman says, hello. And the milkman to knock down the family car. And he says, did you all get up here the same way? Then Floyd got an orangutan to knock down the milkman, who surely had somewhere to be. A small boat to knock down the orangutan. A big boat to knock down the small boat. A rhinoceros to knock down the big boat. A long distance truck to knock down the rhinoceros. The house across the street to knock down the long distance truck. And his neighbor says, Floyd, what are you doing? A lighthouse to knock down the house no longer across the street and a curious whale in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. The whale's just saying, hi, what are you doing? It's in the wrong place at the wrong time. And they all got stuck. All in the tree. <sighs> 
He says, the neighbor says, wait till I tell your mother. <laughs> oh, a fire engine was passing and heard all the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. They say, can we help at all? And up they went. First the engine, followed by the firemen, one by one. Oh, man. <laughs> and there they stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely be noticed missing, and Floyd knew he'd be in big trouble. And then he had an idea. And he went to find a saw. Do you have a good idea or a bad idea? <laughs> he lined it up as best he could and hurled it up the tree. Is that how you should use the saw? <laughs> And pop, that was it. There was no more room left in the tree and the kite became unstuck. Floyd was delighted. He had forgotten all about his kite and put it to use immediately, enjoying the rest of his day very much. That night, Floyd fell asleep exhausted. Though, before he did, he could have sworn that there was something that he was forgetting. Uh, he left the ball up in the tree. The fireman says, hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Well, hopefully his ideas are a little better than Floyd's and they can get down. Because um, that is the end of this book. Um, so that was Stuck by Oliver Jeffers. Um, and this book is by published by Filomeno Books, a division of Penguin Young Readers. Um, and so I love this book. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed that book too. Um, and maybe are a little more... Uh, a little smarter than Floyd in how to get your things down from trees. <laughs> I bet you don't even get stuff stuck in trees. Yeah, that's, that's the thing to do. Okay, well, that was today's story time, and I um, hope we will be back later with another one. Have a great day, everyone.